It's another busy week at MK Sports Cars headquarters. We road test the Westfield Mega Booster. Bought the workshop for updates on the S2000 and K20 builds. Do a comparison for you on the new SX nose cone and bonnet options available. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. Okay guys, what we're going to be talking about today is the options on the nose cone, bonnet and grills on the MK Indy range. And what we're going to start off with is the Classic. So over the Classic nose cone, as you can tell, this has a swooped edge that comes out, it's raised profile, which was to do with the Classic chassis at the time, which was an IVA protection thing here. And also you had to then move this panel, the side panel would be cut, and then trimmed and folded in to meet the bottom edge of the nose cone. Well, what we've done on the new SX version of that nose cone is we've got ridden this section here. So it's completely flat, which allows us to then have the side panel completely flat and have four fixing points on the side here to secure nose cone. Basically, it streamlines the whole front end it's not much more aero efficient because it's a seven shape at the end of the day, but it's slimmed the whole front end down. It's much, much easier to fit. And it also has a return lip under here ready for your number plate bracket. So let's talk grill options now, guys. Um, the original option was this and still available, which was the laser cut MK logo and shield. Um, which goes into this section here, into the mouth of the nose cone. The new version is a honeycomb that we do, which attach in four fixing points here. Now, there is the option, of course, you can overlay this and have both options if you wish to. But this is a bit more of a modern twist in the new age of the millennium of aero grills. Right, while we're at the SX range, the new bonnet was made with the new SX scoop, which is a much larger scoop, longer, and taller in diameter. Now the reason for that installation was to secure for the Hayabusa engine to get the filter under the bonnet, but also the uh, Mazda MX-5 with the VVT engine, which has a solenoid under here, and then both the Honda engines, whether it be the K20 or the S2000, to develop to fit under the nose cone here. Also there is enough to get the ray bit more sump clearance under the two. So this is the Essex version, the classic version, which is still available. As you can see by the two differences here, this is a much wider, but much lower profile. It's almost half the height in total and almost a third in the length as well. This scoop comes much further back. As you can tell, it finishes here. And if you look at the dip, it's more than a hand's width where I've got where the scoop finishes here, probably just about it, two, just an inch and three quarters maybe, etc. So we think this looks a bit sleeker, it's a bit more of a modern twist to suit with the slim lined nose cone, but of course the classics, all available, and all of these products are available on our online website. If not, give us a call, or phone call, or phone call, or phone call, email, etc. and we'll talk you through the process. Right guys, it's test drive time. What have we got? Well, we're in a Mega Booster today. So it's a Westfield Mega Booster with a Generation 1 Hayabusa engine. Um, I think we know the stats generally on them, about 175 horsepower. Once you die, I know it's got a Simpsons exhaust on this, so probably, you know, 185 sort of horsepower. Nice number, paddle shift on it. Um, very different to an MK, um, cockpit-wise, dashboard layout. Got a nice big rev count, and it's got a paddle shift on this as well. Um, but the one thing that is a challenge for me is it doesn't have adjustable seats. So I'm stretched out here on tippy toe trying to drive, really, uh, which is not the most comfortable. I say if you get comfortable in a car, you can drive a car fast. I couldn't drive this car fast, but it's a customer's car, not my intention, but it'd be a challenge. And the steering wheel is a, is a stretch, as you can see, my arms are fully out here. Nice cage though. I think it's an FIA cage on here. It's got nice SBA mirrors makes a, obviously a nice noise on the up and down shift, but what it came in for was some uh, electrical problems. So, weren't charging. First thing diagnosed, wiring. So rectified, it was blown, and the wiring was a bit at fault. 
So uh, fix that, and now we're on the test drive, sticking out the 14 volts that we need. Um, that's a normal test that we do, and I think most people will do that as standard, do a voltage test on it, make sure it's charging, because otherwise it's an engine out on these to get to the generator and the stator, which um, you don't really want to be doing. It's a right pain and a lot of work for a small part. So thankfully, everything seems to be good on the test drive here so far that proves the wiring was at fault. Got a trick shifter on this, so it's like a flat shifter, which we showed the other day, which is a similar version, but no electronic paddles, just a solenoid cut, really, for a little ECU, but it works really well, actually. But it's a bit greasy and a bit wet, so we're gonna take it nice and steady today, but through the gears, all we're up, so cold out here, I mean, I've been driving for a few minutes now and I'm still only at 40 degrees, so tell uh, how cold it is today, pretty, pretty lethal, so with all these cars, rear wheel drive, high power, it's cut slicks on it, you don't want to be anywhere near the damp stuff, you will find yourself swapping in, probably, or lighting up the tyres, so keep it nice and smooth, but you know what, it's not a comfortable driving position because of the seat runners, feel a little bit high in the seat but that's me that's my preference the steering wheel's a little bit stretched but i've got a couple of switches that are in the way of the paddles but it's very smooth i will say that it's very very smooth oh dear can't even talk that is so cold oh, oh i'm going back that's too much hannah that's too much right so we're just gonna punch it through the gears Sean. racing wheels on there actually uh, with the sticky tyres triple eights on it all round um, aero screen's quite good actually clear so you can see in fact well clear I'd struggle to see but with it being clear that's quite a nice um, throws the wind almost over your head but this bit here don't do you any favours it just blasts you so um, crash helmet day probably today nice big gear indicator here which is nice actually now I'm sort of Trying to look at what's going on. Digital speedo, big rev counter, stack dash, 15,000. These go to about just over 11, generally around 11 and Gen 1. But nice digital gear indicator really helps if you're driving a bike engine to know what's going on, especially if you're not familiar with driving a bike engine. Fifth gear, sixth gear, there we go. Down the fifth, down the fourth, yeah. Give it the beans a little bit. pretty good actually well that's it guys we'll package her up I think just wants an oil change now send her back to the customer <laughs> I now know what an ice leaf feels like oh the things I do for TV okay guys back in the workshop here now uh, what we've had landed is this MK Indy classic um, it's got well very very clean car um, it is it's got a r1 5vy engine in here um 2004-2006 era and when you kick out 180 plus horsepower yeah. nice little engine um super clean engine bay um super clean interior uh, one owner builder car the unfortunate thing it's had a little bit of a damage on this corner uh, which we're going to rectify, we sort out, we can do chassis repairs and things like that, some of the minor things. The chassis are so modular um, that we can then modular build up in jigs and then obviously stitch them back onto the vehicle and that's what they're designed to do. So hopefully keep the cost down on things like that. But So if you do have an incident on the corners and that, you can repair stuff as well. It doesn't have to be written off. So yeah, this car, unfortunately, it's super clean as it is. I mean, the interior is, it's like they've peeled the cellophane off of this thing. It is mint. It's mint in the back, mint in the, it's never seen a wet day, I'm reliably informed. And I don't think you've seen a bucket of water apart from washing it. So yeah, super clean car, really unfortunate that that's happened, uh, but well, you know what? We'll put it back together. 
Right, K20 time, as you know, you've been following this build. Um, we have come to a little bit of a standstill, unfortunately. It's dropped on the ground now. We're looking at geos and everything else and putting all the IVA touches to it. But we're still waiting on an ECU, which I was hoping going to be here now. Um, but that's a little bit delayed. Um, and the seats we're also waiting for, for those coming in, it's going to be a new padded version that we're putting on there. But she's ready, the nose cone, everything else is buttoned up. Just its starting procedure and its interior seats and seat belts to go in and she's pretty much almost there. So nearly over the line, just hurry up with that ECU guys, you know who you are. Let's get, it, get this car started. Right, over here at uh, Mr. NM's build, that started as you saw last week, carbon interior panels put in, carbon top done, carbon back panel, shocks are in, rear ends pretty much bolted down there. We've got diff, drive shafts, brakes, calipers, shocks all in. Um, and now we've been on with detailing, cleaning and detailing the gearbox, which is down there. Uh, Joseph and Dylan have been setting about on the engine, which is not the normal colour, guys. It's not silver, it's black, because it's going black and orange. And the whole theme of this car is going to be black and orange um, as well. So this car, it's got the new engine mounts on that we do as well. Don't use the, uh, these are a fabricated item. We don't use the stock ones anymore. So we've got the new engine mounts, how they mount in here. One position for... All Mazda K20 and S2000, we use all the same position and mounting, which is make a new fabricated mount to fit the engine into the chassis. So this, any minute now, will be bolted with the gearbox, had a new clutch on it, new seals and everything else. It's all been detailed, new bearings in here, uh, all ready to go together. And then the guys will be putting it straight into the engine bay. And then again, it start plumbing, wiring, all of the other jobs that need to be done once that goes together but and the rocker cover will be done last um, this was a low mileage engine I say all these rocker covers peel on these s2000s but that's going to be orange and black um, it, that's going on to there so looking forward to seeing that going into the engine bay right that's kind of where we are in the workshop so don't forget guys chassis delivery schedule up here or there which way i'm not sure but it's up there for you and if you need updates obviously you can always give us a phone call or an email and we'll gladly fill you in. So I hope you enjoyed the little test drive in the Westfield. It was freezing. I don't really want to do it again. Christmas is rolling in. Looking forward to that. If you want your parts before Christmas, probably get your orders in pretty much now because uh, we're only a couple of weeks away. Um, you know, especially the new products, the nose cone, the bonnets and extra. Most of them will be colour choices and made to order. But if you've ordered a new kit or looking to an order a new kit, those you've got a couple of options available to you. Right guys, I cannot believe I'm wrapping up episode 100. Where have they all gone? It's amazing. So what we're doing next week in episode 101 is to celebrate the last 100 episodes. We're going to take a look back at what we've been doing over the 100 episodes, maybe pick out some of the best moments in it. And as part of that, we'll enter in you, if you've subscribed to our channel, down there, press that subscribe button, enter into our free prize draw, and you can win some amazing prizes. So look out for next week, guys. Look it up, episode 101. Watch what's going to go on, the competition that's available, wrapping up the last 100 episodes. That's it for this week, guys. Let's wrap it up. Catch you next week.